Continuing from the events of the previous episode, the cousins flew to Spain, and they just recently arrived at their new house. Connor, who recently had diarrhea, is struggling to recover from that disgusting incident. He goes into the bathroom to inspect the damage done to his underpants, and is followed by Charlie. Connor is shocked and appalled when he discovers that Charlie followed him into the bathroom. Connor had taken off his clothes, because he was going to take a shower. Hey Connor. Ooh, why are you naked? Put some clothes on. First of all, I am not naked, I'm wearing underpants right now, second of all, I want to see if my underpants have any skid marks on them, and third of all, why are you in the bathroom Charlie? This is private. Because I want to see if you ruined your underpants. Okay, just take a look, but don't humiliate me. Connor pulls down his underpants and shows them to Charlie, and there was a skid mark, poop stains, that was on his underpants. Charlie is disgusted, and Connor can't clean his underpants, because they are now stained. Ooh, Connor, what the fuck? Why are your underpants so dirty? Because I had diarrhea Charlie, what do you expect? Actually, we can't say diarrhea out loud, because our brothers and cousins are eating food out there, and they will barf up their food if they hear us mention diarrhea, so instead, let's call it the D situation. Good idea Connor. Stay away from me, I am disgusted that you had diarrhea. Stop fucking saying diarrhea. It's called the D-situation. Meanwhile, Captain Hook, who has returned, is planning on getting revenge on Lenny and Charlie, his sidekick, Mr. Smee tries to get Captain Hook to see sense. Man, I really hate those two boys with blue shirts that showed up on my boat and thwarted my plan. Come on Captain, the two boys are gone so you don't have to put up with them anymore. I still can't get over the time they ran away from me and left me stranded on the beach and then and the rest of the crew had to come pick me up, that was so embarrassing. You know what, I'm going to kidnap them again, ha 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 ha. Oh dear, I don't like the sound of this. Meanwhile, the cousins were out exploring Spain. They all went on a boat and the boat takes them to an island. Emily asks both Kara and Aiden if she can explore any of the shops on the island. Kara, Aiden, I need to ask you guys something. What is it, Emily? Can I explore any of the shops on this island? I'm bored and have got nothing to do. Well, if you can find your way around this island and back, yes, you can go. Yes, thank you so much, guys. Emily goes off alone exploring the shops what the other 13 cousins are exploring the island. Aiden, Kara, Connor, Naomi, Lenny, Thomas, Charlie, Tilly, Rosie, Oliver, Lucy, Alejandro and Eliana are exploring parts of the island, and Emily goes into one of the shops. The cousins go back to the ship, all of them except Emily. Kara is reluctant to leave Emily, but Aiden tells her to get on the boat, and Kara texts Emily. Come on guys, let's go back on the boat. We can't leave yet Aiden, my sister's not here. I'm going to text Emily. Come on Emily, the boat is about to leave, you better come back to the spot where it dropped us off or else you will be left behind. Kara sends a text message to Emily. Emily does not see it because she doesn't have any internet connection at the location she's at. The remaining 13 cousins get on the boat. Emily exits the shop. Wow. That was a very big shop, now I'd better get back to my sister and cousins before I get left behind. Emily finally receives the message from Kara. Emily reads the message sent from Kara. Come on Emily, the boat is about to leave, you better come back to the spot where it dropped us off or else you will be left behind. Oh no, the boat is leaving, I'd better get back. Emily rushes back to the spot where the boat dropped off her her sister and her cousins. Unfortunately, the boat starts leaving the port. Oh no, I've been left behind. Kara, cousins, wait for me. Kara noticed that they forgot Emily. Kara tells Aiden about it, but he doesn't care. Oh no, Aiden, we've left Emily behind. Well Kara, that's too bad. Your sister had several chances to get on this boat with us. But no, she had to waste time, and now the boat is leaving the docks. 
Kara slaps Satan. Emily starts desperately sending numerous messages to Kara, but the two are unable to see them due to having no internet connection. Eventually, Emily decides to contact Kara. Emily, where the heck are you? The boat is leaving. Sorry Kara, I was just exploring so many shops, and then when I returned, I noticed the boat was gone. Oh my god. Emily, I'm gonna come down later on to rescue you. Kara, can you bring Lenny, Charlie and Rosie with you as well? I will if they want to Emily. Now if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna call mom and dad. Kara decides to call her and Emily's parents, Trina and Mike. Kara contacts Trina. Hey mom. Hey Kara, how are you, Emily and the cousins getting on on your trip? Not good so far, Emily's been left behind on an island. Lenny, Charlie, Rosie and I are gonna rescue her. Good grief. This is a disaster, I'd better tell Mike about this. Trina decides to go and warn Mike. Mike, we've got bad news. What is it, Trina? Emily is stranded on an island in Spain. Kara, Lenny, Charlie and Rosie are going to save her. Oh no, we'd better tell the other adults about this. Mike and Trina decide to go tell the other aunts and uncles and Nana and Granddad about Emily's absence, and it eventually happens on the news. Brendan reports what's happening on the news. Breaking news. My two sons and my twelve nieces and nephews have went to Spain, and one of my nieces has disappeared. The name of the girl is Amelie Delaney. Here is her photo. If you see this girl, contact 911 immediately. This is Brendan Jr. Fitzgerald, signing off. Meanwhile, Thomas, Tilly, Oliver and Lucy begin freaking out about Emily. Oh no, this is a tragedy. I can't believe we left Emily behind. I know, she was my pal. What are we going to do? Lenny, Charlie, Rosie and Kara are going to rescue Emily. Naomi is playing with Alejandro and Eliana. Peekaboo. 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 Aiden and Connor are watching videos. Hey Aiden, this video is so funny. I know Connor, it is really funny. Lenny, Charlie and Rosie agree to go with Kara to rescue Emily. Okay Kara, I'll go with you. Me too. Me three. Thanks guys. Meanwhile, Emily decides to swim to the ship. Emily notices the Jolly Roger, and gets it mistaken for the ship her sister and cousins are on. I'm getting close, I can feel it on my toes. Emily climbs up on the boat, and Captain Hook ambushes her. This doesn't look like the boat my sister and cousins are on. You're my now girl. What the fuck? Emily gets knocked out by Captain Hook. To be continued. <laughs>